Hi guys, this is Anissa. It's my 20th, 100th, 1000th time I'm recording this. It's 11 in the night time. I just have to get this right and stop mumbling around. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and go for it. I've made this document, um, which is a step-by-step -step plan for dummies to take minimum of five trades per day. Why do I say dummies? Because if you don't get this right by just following each step that I've put here, then there's no other simpler way to put this. So let's go ahead. One, define the trend, which is the orange road position on all the charts, being the one hour, four hour, daily, five and 15 minutes. So A, an uptrend is the orange road here that's facing up because it's above the golden road. Then we have the B, downtrend. This is the orange road to the down because the golden road is up. Let's get an example over here. So on the EU, we have in one hour orange road down, four hours down, daily up, 15 minutes orange road up, five minutes orange road up. Okay, so we've just established a trend on EU that it's a one, one, two, three, three against two to the up. Okay, number two. Look for at the moment signal arrows on all the charts. Let's see. One hour. We have a pink signal down. Four hours. We don't have any arrow, but we have a blue, so I'll count that as an up. Daily up. 15 minutes up. And five minutes up arrow, which is a pink that are pretty strong. Okay, we've just established the trend and the... Um, arrows. Now I said here as a note that on the long-term charts, one hour, four hour, arrows must be on live candles printing for a correlation of one and four hours. If there aren't any correlations, then it means you can go both ways. What do I mean by that? So correlation is when we have on the live candles printing arrows, like we don't have any here, unfortunately. So if this arrow was here on the last live candle, and we had another arrow over here, this was going to be a correlation, meaning that if if we had an arrow down here and an arrow down here, we would definitely have taken EU down until any of these two arrows would change. However, if we don't have a correlation and don't wait for one, because it might be a while until you get one, it's still great to trade because you can take it both sides. Okay, number three. Here I explain the type of arrows, so you can just go through them. It's very simple and obvious. Number three, the overall bias, meaning that you're combining your findings of both the trend and the at the moment score, and you establish whether you'll take the trades upwards or downwards. Okay, we said on the EU that the trend is up, and the arrows are pointing up. This is perfect. So we're gonna take the EU up. Number four. The 15 minutes orange road pointing. What do I mean by that pointing? So now we've established our overall bias and now we're going to look at the 15 minutes orange road where it is pointing. I am referring to the pointing as to the end of the orange road on 15 minutes. Now I would say that this is up because it doesn't have any curb to the down, although it's pretty flat, but it's definitely an up pointing 15 minutes orange road. But here we have a better example. This end of the orange road is pointing up, so therefore it's going to go up. This orange road is pointing to the down, so it's definitely going to go down. So it's very important to not skip this step because, like BB said, this is the steering wheel of the next 15 minutes of trades. If you get this right, you're going to get the trades right. So if the 15 minutes orange road is pointing up, you know for the next 15 minutes at least this is going to go up. Okay, number five, establish the arrows. Now that we know the 15 minutes orange road direction, we are looking for the pinks or yellows on five or 15 minutes charts. Okay, 15 minutes, we have a pink arrow to the up, five minutes we have a pink arrow to the up. That was easy, we just established it. Now what did I say here? Do not, do not get in blindly when the arrow appears. Look for the next step because that's not it. Number six, 
we established the position of the can last candle printing on 5 and 15 minutes orange road. What do we mean by this? So if the candle printing on 5 and 15 minutes is below the orange road, the trade is going to go up. If the candle printing on 5 and 15 minutes is above the orange road, the trade will definitely go down. So we have an example here. The candle is below the orange road. It's not touching the orange road. This is definitely going to go up. B, candle is above the orange road. It's not touching the orange road, so it's definitely going to go down. So this is simple. If you want to take a trade up, you just wait for the candle to be below the orange road and you take it up. If you want to take a trade down, you wait for the candle, the printing candle, to get below, to get below the orange road and no, to get above, I made this a mistake, to get above the orange road. So if you want to take a trade down, you wait for the orange road, the candle position to be above the orange road and you take it down. Let's see if we can get an example here. So here we are. So five minutes orange road, uh, um, five minutes candle is above the orange road. The 15 minutes, if you can see it here, is definitely above the orange road. So this is going to go down. Okay, number seven. After we establish the, the position of the candles of both 5 and 15 minutes, we look at step number 7, which says 2 minutes chart position of the candle printing. So now we have our 15 minutes or 5 minutes pinks or yellow signals. We also have the correct position of the candle. The next step is the correct position of the candle on the 2 minutes chart. So here it is. This is the per perfect position. So we said that on EU we're going to take this up. So look at this candle that touched the bottom BB band. What did we say? If we want to take a trade up, we take it from the bottom, which is the top, the bottom BB band. So this touched the bottom BB band and we knew it's going to go up because this is support and it's going to bounce off of the support. Now we ended up to here. The candle is obviously below the orange road so we established that it's perfect to take it up however we're not yet taking because we're missing one step so two minutes chart the candle position is below the orange road perfect the last step is momentum bars so now that we're seeing the candle printing right at the top or the bottom of the purple band the last thing we know which is going to signal our start to take the, the trade is the momentum bars are flashing in our direction. So these two boxes are the momentum bars. I take trades and I start taking the trades when I have both boxes flashing with the momentum. Like how many moms do you need? I would say at least a minimum of two. Like this is two bars. And you definitely need a DX to change. So if you want to take this up, you need to have it on the green, which is perfect. If you want to take this down, you need to have it on the red. This is red. So we've established that we need a minimum of two momentum bars to take this trend up. Like here, for example. It's flashing. Here's flashing um, green. So we take it up. Now, this is a trade example that I've set up for you to see with all the above steps mentioned. Now, one, the trade is at the top of the BB band. Yes, correct. The candle is positioned is positioned above the orange road. Orange road, candle, correct. Mom is red. Yes, mom is red. Trend is down. Yes, trend is down. So this means that we're going to take this trend, trade down. Pink signal appeared on the top BB band. Correct. And the candle is above the orange road. Correct. This again on five minutes is telling us we can take this down if we want. Then we have the moms are starting to flash. This is perfect because it's just letting us know that we can get in. As soon as we get this flashing, we start, we get on the trade. And then a few seconds later, we are winning this trade, as you can see here, and on the five minutes chart. 
this includes all the steps that we need to look at. Now I said here, breathe in, breathe out, because your traits are starting to roll out. This is a big note that I'm putting at the end, which says the bias changes constantly, so you also need to change your overall bias throughout the session. Now don't count that if you've started with the EU up, it's gonna be like that for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the session. It's not gonna be like that. It changes constantly, and you also need to be made aware that you have to change as well. So always keep an eye on all the charts, all the orange roads, and especially the long-term trend on one hour and four hours. Now I'm gonna show you lastly an example of a live trade with all the steps that I mentioned above. So let's see a great trade that we can roll out. We can take it on the EU because we mentioned before we mentioned before the EU is up. So we have the orange road that you can see here. The candle on the the candle of the 15 minutes is below the orange road and it's going up. It pierced through. The candle on the 5 minutes is below. We have both signals here, although we don't need on both the um, charts. We can only go with a 15 minutes or a 5 minutes pink up. So the candle is positioned at the bottom of the chart on the BB band or close to it. And it's uh, below the orange road. The candle position printing is below the orange road. And now we're looking at the 2 minutes chart. Let's see what's happening. It's, it's, it's close to the orange road, but it's not below, which is not a problem. But let's get it. So here, what do we have here? Although it came above the orange road, it touches the orange road. So that means it's going to go up. Now in two minutes, we also have a touching candle on the orange road, meaning it's definitely going to go up. We wait for moms and we get in. Here are the mums. Here is a great two minute signal. It's touching the orange road. It's touching the orange road. It pierces through the BB band and up it goes. Yep, perfect trade. Perfect trade. Now let's look at the UJ for a down. If we can get a nice candle position um, okay let's look at let's look at 15 minutes at UC 15 minutes and 5 minutes okay so on UC we have downtrend 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 up up so that's a 3 2 down However, we definitely we have the last candle, the last arrow being up, up. So we definitely need to wait for a signal down if we want to take this down. 15 minutes pointing, end of the orange road is pointing down. We see the candle over here is above the orange road. Great position. The five minutes candle is bill it's above the orange road, meaning suggesting it's gonna go down. Perfect position. Two minutes chart, candle is above the orange road and it's starting from the top of the BB band, which is a perfect price action for us. Now, let's wait for the DX to change because it's green to the red and then we'll take it down with the mums. Okay. It's taking a while, but we will get there. Now we have a 15 minutes arrow appearing. That's perfect. All the candles are positioned well. We still have the DX green, so we need to change that. So we're waiting. It's changed to red. And boom, the moms appear. And we have also five minutes arrow, even if it's a red, it's still great. And there it goes, our trade to the downward and more. So this was definitely more than three pips and this won greatly. This is an example of an easy trend. All you do is make sure 
you take the trend the trays from the top or the bottom of the BB band because it would give you a minimum of three pips if you take it from the middle or from here you're just gonna challenge yourself to squeeze out a few pips just play by the book and play it simple and you would make it trust me this is it from me happy trading you can all do it just remember that this is for dummies so keep it very simple don't complicate it i'll see you in the room and if you have any questions please let me know lots of love anisa bye bye